This is George from Hitech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 660 Ti video card. The 660 Ti from NVIDIA has probably been uh, the most eagerly anticipated GPU to come out in some years. Many people think that the flagships uh, like the GTX 680 or the AMD 7970 are the most anticipated. But really, uh, it's the sweet spot cards like the 660 Ti that give you incredible performance with a much lower price tag that are going to be the most eagerly awaited simply because they're going to reach the most consumers. Uh, the 660 Ti uh, from Gigabyte is a $329 card uh, estimated price point. Uh, obviously a lot less than a $600 GTX 680, but the performance difference is not going to be as great as you'd think. The 660 Ti from G uh, Gigabyte is built off the same GK104 architecture that the 680 and 670 have, uh, only slightly scaled down, 1344 CUDA cores, and the memory bus scaled down from 256 to 192-bit. Taking a look at the card itself, see the Gigabyte has used their WinForce 2X, two 100 millimeter fans sit on top of a really nice looking heatsink, two large 8 millimeter copper heat pipes running through the length of the entire card. As you can see, the heatsink extends almost the entire length of the card, two small breaks, but really a lot of surface area to get some cooling. Uh, that's going to be important because Gigabyte has overclocked this card. This card comes with a 1032 megahertz base clock, 1111 megahertz dynamic boost clock. So you've got a good uh, overclock right off the bat out of the box from Gigabyte. Moving on, taking a look at the printed circuit board itself. It's really a nice rigid printed circuit board. That comes into play uh, quite a bit in video cards because as you know they are known to sag the larger cards. This isn't a large card but still it's fairly heavy with this heatsink so you might be apt to sag. With the rigid circuit board there's almost no flex. What that does, it keeps from micro fractures from occurring in your uh, traces on the circuit board, making sure you have complete conductivity for the long haul. Um, you're not going to get a breakdown in conductivity, and you're not going to get a breakdown in performance as a result. Simple layout, you've got, of course, the PCI Express 3.0 slot on one side, two SLI on the other side, tri SLI capable. But as you may notice, the second SLI connector does sit behind the heatsink as well as the shroud. Uh, you might have a little problem here. You're going to have to use a ribbon cable if you're going to do tri SLI. You're not going to be able to do a rigid connector that comes with most motherboards. <clears throat> uh, even with the ribbon cable, you are going to have to wrap it around. You've got to sneak it in here just to connect it, and it's going to have to wrap around the shroud. That could pose a problem in some builds. Taking a look at the side, of course, you've got two DVI connectors, HDMI, display port. It is capable of four simultaneous monitors. Packaging, obviously standard Gigabyte packaging. Nice looking package with just the Gigabyte Eye. Simple WinForce overclock version. Two Gigabytes GDDR5 and GeForce GTX 660 Ti. The two Gigabytes of GDDR5 are all tier one memory and 100% tested. This is an ultra durable board, so it's gonna use solid Japanese capacitors and ferrite core metal chokes as well. So you've got a really nice build around a really, really hot GPU just hitting the market. Taking a look at the accessory package, rather spartan on this piece. Quick start guide, two Molex to six pin adapters, and driver and overclock guru CD. The 660 Ti is also a very, very efficient GPU, so it only uses two 6-pin connectors. No 8-pin is required. Uh, it's actually the recommendation is 450 watt power supply and up, so you're not going to need a huge power supply to power this, uh, and they're only say, calling for a recommended 75 watts per connector, so 150 watts going to the card. So you're not going to have a great expense in power supply to run one, and obviously on mid-sized power supply you're going to be able to run tri-SLI, which is something you could never do in the past. Really a fantastic looking piece from Gigabyte, nice overclock, well put together, good looking piece.